there in the gate. And they're off. Corey, Corey from the inside breaks well. So too does Gold by Design. Wanting is there at the fence. La Raquette comes up on through. Jumping up wide into that first turn and hung out about five wide is Gold Grab. So they move into that first turn. And for the inside, Wanting comes on to vie for the lead with Gold by Design. Corey, Corey in very tight right there between those two. La Rockettes content to sit on the outside, a four wide fourth. Jumping up is racing in fifth. Gold Crop still way out there racing sixth. Down inside, Flattery Rose is on hold at the back of the pack and a break of two back to the early trailer, Stormy's Image, as to move down the back stretch. The first quarter, a nice and easy 24 in four fifth seconds for Wanting, who's just galloping on a length and a half lead. Gold by Design and Corey Corey are giving Mild Chase second and third. La Raquette is now back to fourth. Flattery Rose tugs up the inside to take over the fifth spot. Far outside, Gold Crop is sixth. Also right there is Jump Enough Racing in seventh. And down inside, Stormy's Image is eighth and only four lengths off the leaders. The half-mile time goes in 49-1. and one. Wantig's now coming under some more pressure. Corey Corey moves two wide. Gold by Design moves three wide. La Raquette is coming. Jump Enough is swinging up five wide on the far outside. Flattery Rose is just in behind the leaders in with a chance. Stormy's Image is going to need traffic room as they come off the turn. Corey Corey has the lead, but down inside, Stormy's Image found a seam. Far outside, continuing on is Jump Enough. They're inside the final furlong. Corey Corey's got a three-length lead. Corey Corey sails into the final 16th, still driving on that lead. Stormy's Image farther back with Jump Enough. Also, there is Flatterby Rose coming down to the wire. Corey Corey by four at the finish. Stormy's image just nosed out Flattery Rose, jumping up for it.